Building a Satisfying Online Customer Experience Tackling customer service in physical stores seems to be challenging enough for retailers. Friendly staff, lots of stock, and forgiving return policies are only a few of the features that have customers coming back. But how does an already impersonal shopping experience online accommodate its clients in the same way? A lot of people are turning to online shopping because they can avoid lines and crowds, they can read customer reviews at their own pace, and quite frankly because it means not having to leave the house. In that respect online retailers are already ahead of the game. But not being able to physically see an item, try it on, or speak to a sales rep is enough to make the skeptics uneasy. Let alone having to leave their credit card details and just hope that they get their item retailers shouldn't think of these as setbacks, but rather areas in which they have the opportunity to improve. Some initial areas to focus on include 1. Easy to navigate websites. We have already established that people don't like having to wait in lines or deal with fuss. Shopping is supposed to be a leisurely and easy activity, not one that has us frustrated and confused. Developing a path to purchase that is simple to navigate should be at the forefront of every online retailer's mind. How can they make it as simple as possible for customers to find the items they want? add them to their basket, and then check out without muss or fuss, too. Timeout periods. A lot of e-commerce sites will time out your session if you leave your computer for too long. This makes sense for security reasons, but can also be really annoying, especially when you're making a big order. People who shop online are usually doing it from home where there are a lot of distractions such as crying babies, ringing doorbells, etc. As a result those retailers building e-commerce sites should work towards finding solutions to this problem. One solution might be allowing customers to save their items as they add them to their baskets. Point three. Delivery times and return policies, this is probably the most important part of ensuring a positive customer service experience. If a customer is ordering an in-stock item from a national distributor, there is no reason why it should be delivered two weeks later. Of course there is the option of paying more for speedy delivery, but I would think that a week should be standard and at no extra cost. Similarly, without the ability to see or try on the item, retailers should make the process of returns and exchanges easy for customers. What's the point of shopping online if you're going to make customers go to the store to return their unwanted items? There are of course many more factors that go into building a foolproof e-commerce site. One rule of thumb though is to just think about the things that make you happy and then build them into your service.